we have been uh, meeting since that time and working together to organize activities and engage with the rest of the continent on our candidature for the AU Commission. I would like to report to the country that um, so far we have been able to reach out to 51 of the 53 members of the African uh, Union Commission uh, and messages have gone directly to the various capitals on the continent, indirectly through envoys and both His Excellency the President and uh, His Excellency the Deputy President have reached out to their colleagues on the continent and held very successful discussions on our candidature. Our candidate, our Cabinet Secretary for uh, Foreign Affairs, C.S. Amina, has been at the forefront working with youth, private sector, groups, women across the board, and ensuring that uh, she galvanizes the contribution of all others uh, uh, to strengthen and develop Africa. You've just noticed last year we were able to hold uh, very important meetings uh, in Nairobi because we want to play our role in the development of the continent with others and we're active members of regional blocs uh, precisely because we see the potential of Africa, we see the opportunity of Africa and we want to ensure that that opportunity is maximized. The pledges we have made are around that, that we will be faithful members, we will contribute in galvanizing Africa to realize its potential. I can assure you, I may not be able to give you a, a, a figure immediately, but I can assure you we have run a very low um, a, a budget campaign. We have been very frugal and highly disciplined, especially because we know uh, we are doing this at a time when we have a lot of competing priorities, even as government. Uh, uh,